Welcome to The Real News Network. I'm Jessica Devereaux in Baltimore. On August 15th, the Ecuadorian president, Rafael Correa, announced that he is abandoning plans for an internationally funded conservation program for the Yasuni National Park. The park, which is located in the Ecuadorian Amazonian rainforest, is recognized as a UNESCO biosphere reserve and is said to contain more species in just one hectare than all the combined biodiversity of North America. The Yasuni International Fundraising Initiative was launched in 2007 after explorations revealed 796 million barrels of crude under an area known as the ITT block. With us to discuss all this is Patrick Bond. Patrick is the director of the Center for Civil Society and a professor at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in South Africa. Bond is also the author and editor of the recently released books, Politics of Climate Justice and Durbin's Climate Gamble. Thank you for joining us, Patrick. Great to be back with you. Thanks, Jessica. So, Patrick, just for our viewers, can you give us a bit of the backstory of what happened here with the president of Ecuador calling that the world has failed us after they were unable to raise enough funds to, quote unquote, save this, uh, uh, this territory in the Amazon? Well, he's certainly correct that the money that should have come in to keep the uh, Sunni from being drilled uh, for roughly $10 billion worth of oil that uh, geologists think is underneath uh, the beautiful Amazonian rainforest. Um, the northern governments that were approached, especially Germany and Norway, uh, certainly failed Korea. But his critics in Ecuador, uh, such as Axion Ecologica, an eco-feminist group, or the Kanai Indigenous Peoples Network, say that partly because it is such extraordinarily rich, biodiverse territory, and two uh, indigenous peoples who have had virtually no contact with the outside world live there and are threatened. Korea shouldn't go ahead and he should uh, wait and develop the proposal in uh, a way that more directly demands social solidarity from the north, not just uh, the elite government officials who have rejected it. And also with drilling being proposed now across the United States and uh, also the Vir Virunga National Park in the Congo, are we going to see more of these types of um, pa passages of legislations and things of that nature where oil companies are now going to be um, chomping at the bit really to, to get some of these protected areas to explore? Well, certainly the coal, gas, the uh, fracking, the, the shale and oil have been the targets of oil companies no matter where uh, these uh, fossil fuels are located. I think what was critical about the Yasuni project, which really gave it um, such extraordinary appeal, was a national movement uh, within Ecuador to consider it part of the patrimony, the, the natural resource base never to be touched, in a sense to give nature rights. And the constitution was even changed to give nature rights. And it is going to be quite um, a task for Korea to push through a Congress that certainly supports him in a way that in the prior era, when Texaco, uh, and now it's called Chevron, had drilled uh, ruthlessly along with the uh, Ecuadorian state government to the tune of about $18 billion of damage, according to some courts, that process now can be much better contested. So although there's great despair that a pilot project, which really would have been a down payment on a climate debt that the North owes the South, the Germans, for example, uh, really opposed it. Dirk Niebel, the uh, development aid minister, uh, reversed his predecessor's support for the project because he instead wanted to see a market-based mechanism. And it's called RED, the Reducing Emissions Through Deforestation and Forest Degradation. That strategy, which came from the World Bank and is supported by the more conservative wing uh, in the United Nations and some NGOs, that's going to take off probably because Rafael Correa himself has hoped that carbon markets would be a site for selling the right to keep the Asuni Park from being drilled. And the big tragedy for everyone is that those markets have been completely uh, useless. They've collapsed. They have no money. And so Correa's first strategy, being trained in the United States as an economist to basically sell nature, to sell what are called payment for ecosystem services, that strategy having failed, then the strategy of asking politely for funding from the North having failed, what really needs to be done, it seems to me, having been out there uh, for a week working with Oil Watch as a network around the world looking for similar sites, 
uh, say the Niger Delta, is that solidarity between northern civil society and uh, those in the south struggling to keep the oil under the soil or the tar sand in the land, uh, the fracking shale gas under the grass and the coal in the hole, they really need more of the citizens' movements to insist that the governments of the north do the right thing. And that simply wasn't there because Korea really never did appeal to the northern citizenries. He played uh, the game inside the circuits of the United Nations and in bilateral negotiations. And given the, frankly, uh, anti-ecological posture of some of these governments, uh, that wasn't going to work. But the Yasuni National Park is a UNESCO um, biosphere reserve, Patrick. Is there any sort of legislation or international law that um, could protect a park like this? Not uh, as such. In fact, um, Korea has run roughshod over a great many uh, local traditions, customs, parks, r regulations uh, by allowing his own company and now increasingly Brazilian and especially Chinese companies to come in and prospect and even start construction. Uh, so I think there's a, a sense uh, that although these are pink governments, they're left of center, they tend to be more petro-Keynesian in the case of Korea, maybe petro-socialist in the case of the late Hugo Chavez, or petro-indigenous in the case of Evo Morales in Bolivia, and therefore not as in, uh, tightly connected to the more eco-socialist, the rights of nature, and the other uh, earth-centered strategies that have respect for indigenous people that uh, we'd all hoped for. We really need a major breakthrough in consciousness, as well as in the financing to keep the oil companies at bay to make sure that uh, governments like uh, Ecuador's have resources for development, but that they don't take oil and other uh, fossil fuels out of the soil, but instead the North pays the down payment owed on the climate debt so that there is less pressure to do the kinds of things Korea now seems set to do, drill a paradise. Really interesting perspective. Thanks so much for joining us, Patrick. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.